When I was a kid, I grew up in New York, and we would travel to upstate New York occasionally. And there was actually a vineyard, the first vineyard I ever saw. And it amazed me to see these plants growing in rows and trellises. And to watch the life cycle of the vine, I just always found it fascinating. And I started to believe when I got into making wine that it meant something to me at this deeper emotional level. It was this collaboration of people and the earth to create this living thing. I believe in a way that wine is alive and we should let it be that way. We shouldn't do anything to prevent it from expressing itself and from living its life. And when you have something like that, which is really special in its own way, it can be shared with people who bring their own traditions and backgrounds to it, their own history, and allow them to come together and unite over this seemingly innocuous, trivial, and unimportant thing, this glass of wine, this bottle of wine. To me, it can be a bridge. It can be something that you set on the table to share with people, to show them your love. It can be something that you just enjoy by yourself. It can be a bridge to the past. It could be a bridge to where you were when you were working 10 years ago. Uh, it can be a bridge to the future, to your children. It can be something that's shared over many generations. But the most important thing is not to lose sight of the fact that this is a living, in many ways, breathing artifact, a piece of history, a piece of nature. And while I tend to be too precious about it, and I know that, I do believe that it has this you know, transformative power. We do this because we believe that it's our little way of contributing something to the future.